Hi, I'm Linda Baker, transparent watercolorist, and today I'm going to show you how to put together a very simple palette. I suggest if you are a beginner and going to start with a very small palette, you choose just eight colors. And I'm going to say use your primaries, the red, yellow, and blue, and one dark. So I'm going to suggest that you do a warm yellow and a cool yellow, a warm red and a cool red, a warm blue and a cool blue, and a warm dark and a cool dark. Out of these eight tubes of paint, you actually can make any color known to man, but a lot of us like to have all those wonderful colors around our palette. So let me show you first, the warm yellow I would suggest is a new gamboge. I am using today M. Graham paints. I like them because the colors are very intense and they are honey based, so they don't get hard and crusty in your palette. Now you know your palette is not supposed to get hard and crusty because you're supposed to use it every day, but I know that sometimes happens. So there is your warm yellow. Then as a cool yellow, in their pigments, I'm going to select an Azo yellow, more commonly known in most brands as an Oriolan. And you can see that this one is cooler and this one is warmer. In the reds, I'm going to suggest a naphthol red. In Jeep Joe's, it's called Joe's Red. In Windsor Newton, it's called Windsor Red. It is their primary red and basically a nice warm red. And then I'm gonna suggest that you have a Quinn Rose or a permanent rose. In this case, it is a Quinn Rose. One of the things that's confusing, especially to a beginning artist, is that every company changes the names of their colors. Not changes it completely, but gives it a little bit different twist. So something may be an Azo yellow in one brand and it be an Areolan yellow in another brand. So it's all you really need to know is that you're asking for, if you're going to the store and asking, say, I want a cool yellow, and a warm yellow. And usually the clerk will be able to help you. Otherwise, you can play around with color charts and you can look online and they will actually tell you. Next, I'm going to do the blues and I'm suggesting a cobalt blue for the warm. And then I'm going to suggest an ultramarine blue for the cool. And then last, because you don't want your paintings to look too Easter eggy, you wanna be able to get nice rich darks, which you can out of here, but I suggest that you add a warm dark of sepia Sepia is more of a brown. And then for your cooler color, or a little bit more neutral color, is a Payne's Gray. And this is a little bit more of a blue black. Between these little eight tubes of paint, you can get almost any color known to man. And this is a very good place to start if you're a beginner painter. And this is also a very nice thing if you wanna go and paint plain air, or you're traveling on an airplane, or you're going on a cruise, or you're going to a workshop and you don't wanna buy 20 tubes of paint to try something out. This is a very good place to start and this will get you going. Thank you.